Hey, what's going on? This is Super Rhino 57, but you can call me Rhino. And I'm sure you're wondering, hey, what's going on behind you? Well, this is my world, with my own personal mod pack combination. Now, just let me know if it sounds, if it looks interesting to you. Uh, I'm planning on doing a Let's Play on Crazy Craft, but if this mod pack looks interesting to you, let me know in the comment section down below. And I may start a new world with the Let's Play for my own personal mod pack. Now, what makes this one different than Crazy Craft? This is more computer friendly. It's got Optifine, and it's got. All, I'll explain all the settings. So for all the lower end computers, it'll handle a lot better. So just let me know, okay? Anyways, let me give you the grand tour. We have the Alto over here. Oh, there we go. Alto over here from All's Magica 2. Just getting used to that, so. Yeah, I'm planning on doing a tutorial on that later, explaining the uh, altar and this whole setup right here, because it's all Owl's Magica 2. So, stay tuned for that. And this is my house, and look at all of these essence berries. Yes, I have Tinker's Construct uh, included in this mod pack. But, out of all these essence bushes, check this out. Oh, I have more. That's right, I have an automated essence berry farm. Now, why would I do that? For all the experience. Um, Owl's Magical requires a bit of experience in order to get the uh, full effect of it. So, yeah. And, of course, my Tinker's Construct Smeltery. And as you can see, I have open box for lava. And I figure that's a little bit easier. So I just get a big old tank here next to that tank. And automate recovery. Speaking of which, 20 bucks of gold. There we go. Thank you. Anyways, let's move on. Oh, before I walk away. Yes, magical crops. It comes in handy later on as far as stuff that doesn't have a value. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what do you mean by value? Well, over here, I have the transmutation table. As you can see, it was by Project E, which is sort of a remake of... Uh, oh, what's the name of that mod? Pack, of that mod? Uh... Equivalent Exchange, yes. Uh, they did a remake of it, which I like Project E a lot better, because it not just does vanilla mod, uh, vanilla items, but it also does items made out of vanilla items, such as stone gears, tin gears, and it also includes all of the uh, ingots and blocks from Tinker's Construct. So it's really awesome. Anyways, moving on. I got some plants going on here. And in case you didn't notice, I have the duplicator tree. That's right. What mod pack would not be complete without or spawn? Now I'm sure you're wondering, but or spawn? It's really heavy on the computer. Don't worry, I take care of that. As you can see, it seems to be running pretty smooth right now. Well, this is a better in computer I've got lately, but even on my old computer, which was really crappy, it ran just fine. But again, I go back to if it seems interesting to you, let me know. And I may start a late play on this as well. So yeah, duplicator tree or spawn, super epic, LUT. And this is just part of the automated uh, essence berry farm. But that's pretty much a grand tour. Oh wait, I got machines. Yes, there we go. I have the autonomous activator from thermal expansion, the alloy smelter from Ender.io, the sag mill from Ender.io, and a red matter furnace from Project E. This thing is crazy wicked. Oh, let me show. Let me check. The, I gotta show you this. You'll love it. There we go. Let's get some. Yeah, let's get some raw beef. There we go. Let's get a whole stack of it. Now they also include other fuels rather than just coal. Uh, you keep adding like four sets of coal, and it creates a combined effect. Yeah. So this is the highest end coal they have, or fuel. So let's add a stack of raw beef. Now check this out. Ready? Holy crap. Look at how fast that goes. Yes. That's why another reason I love Project D. I'm sure you're wondering, but what happened to it all? What? In fact, I'm quite confused myself. Oh, there it is. Apparently, it got pushed into the crafting table to the net, to the side of it. Interesting. Never seen that before, but okay. Yeah. And of course, 
if you have Android IO, you have to have the Vibrate Capacitor Pack. That's right. Moving on, I believe that's actually about it. Some more Ars Magica stuff. That's what I've been working on the most lately because I am fairly new to that mod pack or to that mod. And so I'm still learning stuff. But yes, stay tuned for more. I'm planning on doing a tutorial and Let's Plays later on. Um, let me know what you like and I may see what I can do for you. Thank you and welcome to my channel again. The name is Super Rhino 57, but just call me Rhino. Thank you and have a wonderful day.